Hey everybody and welcome to Homebrew Terrain. Okay, so when you're done with a project, usually you end up with a pile of stuff like this. Um, and it's just all the, the, the bitty cardboards and junk that's just left over from everything that you've been working on, the bits and pieces of things. You're gonna just throw these away because you're just gonna scoop them up and toss them in the trash. Don't do that. If a building collapses into a giant crumbly ball of gunk, um, you know, you can represent that on the battlefield using that. Uh, and I will show you how to do that today on Homebrew Terrain. Hey, my name is Aaron and welcome to Homebrew Terrain. So this is probably going to be one of the easiest ones we've done so far simply because there's no real form or structure to it. All you're going to do is you're just going to get yourself a piece of cardboard like this. You're going to cut out an amorphous shape and then you're going to start building stuff on it using just Homer's glue or hot glue if you want to. See I just cleaned up everything so my desk is nice and straightened up but uh, yeah, now I can't find anything. Okay, so the basic tools you're going to need to do any good job. A couple rulers, a pair of scissors, if you really want to get crazy on it. Um, and of course a pen because you're always going to need to, you know, take notes or draw or do whatever. So in this particular case, here's what we're going to do. Tipping it down. There we go. We're going to take this bad boy right here and I'm just going to cut it into an amorphous shape of something that used to be. Uh, let's just turn this into a, a junky wall. Draw a line down the middle of it here. Try to make it seem, you know, whatever. It, again, this is just a pile of junk, so you don't really have to, and you're gonna be using all the scrap and garbage that you had left over from your other projects. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna stab this bad boy here, but don't cut it all the way through. Cut it down like that and fold it in half. Lang, how awesome is that? I know, it's so exciting. You're just, you're massively in love with it. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the same thing uh, on the other side. So like this. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, I'm, I'm way too much of a perfectionist when it comes to this kind of stuff because I'm used to doing more intense things. <laughs> then we're gonna draw this guy like that. Again, not cutting all the way through the cardboard. And we're gonna fold it down like that. See? Yay, look how cool that is. Look how amazing that is. Look at that, just, that's the coolest wall you've ever, okay, whatever. Um, and then, so from here, we don't wanna do this, you know, completely perfectly. We wanna have kind of a, an amorphous foot shape for the battlefield, you know? And again, you can make this as big or as small as you want to. It doesn't have to be any specific anything because it's just the junk pile. Okay. So yeah, it's just uh, there, there, there. That's there. That's better. And so here we have just a bunch of junk. Um, and the wall that we created. Yay, neat for the wall. Okay, so the wall's not gonna run across the entire thing. Um, so we're gonna take it about halfway and then just, uh, you know, use the, the thingy to, you know, with the thingy. And then, uh, like that. And you'll notice that I didn't fix the ends here um, because I'm just gonna stick gunk all over it anyway. It's gonna be like a little junkyard, you know what I mean? So we're just gonna enjoy gluing weird stuff everywhere. So in this case, I got this thing here. I figured, uh, I don't know, just pop that there like this and just kind of stick it on there like that. And now, normally I wouldn't use a whole lot of hot glue for this, just get some bigger pieces down. Um, and the reason I would uh, just get the bigger pieces down on the hot glue uh, is because Elmer's is way cheaper than hot glue, um, and it's easier to work with when you're doing something like this 
than uh, this would be. Um, so like, yeah, you take a, just an old ravage. This used to be one of the doors from one of the buildings that I made. Um, I don't know, just kind of, you know, stick it on there. Randomly. Like this. Now, of course, whilst I'm doing this, I'm not just randomly sticking stuff on here, though. Um, that, that also is a thing. I'm also kind of thinking to myself, um, what, uh, what kind of game system am I doing this for? You know, is this going to be like for Age of Sigmar or Warcry or, you know, all of the above? Uh, you know, because obviously you don't want to put like sci-fi elements into it if there's just going to be a fantasy armies and that kind of stuff. But, because if you're like me, you know, you're going to have like just tons of stuff all over everything. Um, I'm going to keep this more fantasy based, I guess. Uh, but again, on the same token, you also remember, remember that you are going to have models that are going to be uh, traversing through this. So like, you know, here's my little skink dude. My little, my little skinky. Jeez, skinks. Anyway, uh, but you know, they're, they're going to be going over this. This is a big chunk of terrain. And so if you throw this onto the battlefield, you better believe that they're going to use it. I mean, this is fantastic for, uh, you know, cover and, you know, whatever. So um, you don't want to make it like just pile a bunch of junk on there and have like a little mountain of crap. Uh, just kind of think about, you know, how how you would just kind of put little platforms and things on in on and around the junk that's there. So yeah, like I throw little things like this on here, you know, that's going to be kind of cool. Like that. Boom. See, then that way there can be like little, you know, places to hide and stuff. Anyway, so yeah, it would look like this. And then I'm leaving a lot of areas open because, again, I want to take a bunch of this junk and just throw crap all over it. Because that's what I'm going to do. And it kind of looks like there probably was something here at one time, you know? There was a building or a structure or a thing that is no longer. And if you want to get crazy on it, you know, you can start building things like above it too. Like this would be like the base for a little structure and then underneath it is just junk. You could do that. It could be it could be a thing. I like to just take a piece of cardboard, like a, like the toilet paper rolls that we trim up, this kind of stuff. Uh, just find a larger piece of that. Because you'll always have at least, you know, two or three chunks of that just lying about. Like in this particular case. Ah, uh, there we go. I got one of these. That's perfect. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move away most of the bigger stuff and some of my tools here. And now, what I'm going to do I'm going to take Elmer's, like so, just kind of slurp it on there, and use my finger, because finger. And then I'm going to take this guy, like I said before, and I'm going to use it like a dustpan. And I'm going to kind of scrape up the stuff here, like this, and just drop it on here, like that. <laughs> And there you have it. Instant rubble. But that's not all going to stick there, you say. Well, that's probably true, which is why we're going to come back and we're going to pour glue all over it. There we go. We're just going to splurge the glue all over everything. And when this dries, because the glue actually will thin out a little bit, but once this dries, um, the glue will become transparent and you'll see a lot of the junk underneath it. Now one thing you can do here, you can 
come through and just kind of squish it down with your finger. Mix the glue around into the stuff so that everything's kind of sticking to everything else. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. And then all that sand and all the junk and all the little splinters of things that you have uh, just sitting there on your desk, instead of being junk and garbage, end up becoming really cool terrain pieces. And I'm trying to keep everything on the base, so like, um, these two pieces are being kind of a pain. But I want to make sure that everything stays kind of on the piece so it doesn't kind of stick over. Um, not that that's a bad thing if it does, it's just I like it that way. It's neater and I can, you know, more organize it. But yeah, so there you go, you make it into a big bluey mess and just drop it on there. My desk was a lot messier than I thought, and so I scraped it all into a bowl here, and one of them, or one of these, you know, you can throw away things. Anyway, I'm gonna pour the glue in there, and I'm just gonna slurp it all around with the stick. And here we go, I'm gonna pour the glue in there, so now you can see what it looks like with the glue in, and I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it all around. It's gonna get all gooey and gross. There's a lot of sand in here, and I may end up having to pour some more glue in to get it all sticky. Maybe. We'll see. And this is all just the junk that I had lying on my desk after all the projects that I've been working on the last couple of weeks. Um, yeah, I don't clean my desk very often. But that's okay though because we're going to turn that mess into something awesome. <laughs> and so here we have the whole deal. Now, one of the things that I'd like to do here, eh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put some glue down on here just to make sure that it sticks properly. Just going to throw some glue down over the whole model. Why? Because I... Because you know what? This is my shtick. <laughs> my shtick. Alright. <clears throat> Sorry. So now the glue is kind of just smeared around here. Schmear. <laughs> just if you put on bagels, isn't it? Anyway, uh, now that the glue is smeared around, we're gonna just start dropping this stuff on. Like this. Just kind of cramp and tamp it down. And again, I like to keep it neat. <laughs> I said neat. <clears throat> I like to keep it neat on the, um, so that it doesn't go over the edges of the, the piece that I'm creating here. I mean, because otherwise it can get, it can catch on things or it can be like pokey or cause issues or, you know, lots of other reasons. And then you will see that there's a lot of extra little bits, uh, like areas that are um, kind of left over. And that there's kind of nothing sitting in them like right here on the edges. Well, I got a big pile of these uh, broken toothpicks and stuff that I've been using for other projects. So I'm just gonna go through and throw some glue on them and just kind of toss them in there or even look like it was like a, build like a little makeshift something around it like there was a platform or something that was starting to happen and then somebody blew it up. And here we have it. I went ahead and uh, just took the hot glue gun here and randomly glued the uh, popsicle stick bits that I had left over um, around to make it look like this probably was a house or something like that at some point and uh, it's just all completely ruined now. And this is all just the knobbly bits and junk that I was going to toss into the garbage. And so what I've done here is again, I've just uh, thrown some glue onto this, I mixed it all up in a bowl, slurped it all over this thing, and once this bad boy dries, I'm going to take it outside, I'm going to hit it with the, uh, the primer that I bought from Lowe's because it's a piece of junk, and uh, I hate that primer. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Games Workshop, hurry, give me my primer! And here is the final piece, uh, completely primed and glued together. Nothing's coming off, yay. 
And uh, so there you have it. This is a, a pretty decent piece that you can use to uh, you can just throw it down there on the table and then your little duders can come and walk around on there. And the thing is, it's cool about it is that it's, it's flat enough in some places that they can go on there. Um, you know, you can put your guys in there. But again, you know, if you're playing like 40K or Fantasy or something, this would definitely be dangerous terrain. Um, you know, you can have special rules associated with it. You can even use something like this as like a, a centerpiece for a, oh, oh, this disaster happened and your guys have to figure out why. Dun, dun, dun. And it's stupid easy to make. Again, all I did was glue a couple of pieces on and then I just splurged the rest of it down and spray primed it. Painting up the, the junkyard. Ooh, I'm just using Saigor Brown, which is the uh, Citadel's, um, you know, the contrast paint. Yeah, this stuff. This stuff! Yeah, you can't really read it very well. It's super dark! And so the best thing you have to do with Saigor Brown is add a lot of water to it and just kind of water it down. And then I'm gonna go back and dry brush it, and that's all I'm gonna do because I don't really care. It's not really a super huge, you know, glossy, awesome terrain piece. I'm just gonna dry brush some of the dirt and uh, maybe even make that a metal cylinder or something. You know, that's it. Easy peasy. So I am all done here with the uh, the model, and as you can see, uh, all I did here was I painted it with Cygor Brown uh, and a little bit of water, and. Uh, that's all I did, and I just smashed it all over, and then I dry brushed it with a little bit of, uh, you know, whatever this is. <laughs> here we go, territorial beige. What? Okay, so here we have it. Uh, the final product here of uh, just all the junk that was lying around on my desk, I went ahead and uh, painted it with Saigor Brown and water, mostly water, because uh, Saigor Brown is really, uh, it's really dark. So I don't know if you can see the nuances here. You probably can't because the light's not in the right place. But uh, here we go. And so uh, now what you're looking at here is, again, like I said, Saigor Brown and uh, little bits of black. I dab black onto it everywhere and it just kind of gives it this gross, burnt out, oily look. And then I, I hit this with a, a silver dry brush so that it looked kind of like a, uh, it's kind of like a big metal tube sticking up out of the ground. You know, who knows? It could have been something from anything. And, and so you can use this kind of from Fantasy or you can use it for uh, 40K or Warcry or Infinity or, Whatever, you know, it's just something. And again, this particular piece of terrain cost me absolutely nothing except for the glue and the paint. Uh, all of the parts and pieces and everything were just the junk that I had left over from all the other projects that I've been doing lately. And so, yeah, there you go. And again, you can put models on, in, on and around this terrain. Um, again, I would count this definitely as dangerous terrain because, I mean, heck, that's not something I'm going to be walking over. Anyway, uh, so there you have it, and a uh, really easy project to do, really easy thing, and it took me like literally, I don't even know, like 20 minutes to make the whole thing. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed yourself here on Homebrew Terrain. You still here? What are you doing here? It's over. Finished it up with the pictures. You know the pictures that, that ended and it says Homebrew Terrain, but you're still. You know what? Hey, uh, that's fine. Hang out if you want. Um,